Okay, second part. Um, we're just going to clean up these uh, pads uh, on this connector number three on the iPhone 3G, 3GS. Um, right, I'm using a fairly wide tip here. I'm running it around about 350 degrees C. Um, no pressure on these. Just let the, the solder iron heat up, uh, melt the solder. And just put the push the remains of the um, data connection cable off. Now I've just put some liquid flux on here uh, to aid with removal of the um, remainder of the um, uh, connection number three uh, legs. Um, now you will find the last one, uh, the one towards the, the top. Is, is a difficult one. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I won't be able to remove it. It's still there at the top. Now, in order to aid remove, I'm going to use a little bit of liquid solder on this. Um, as you can see, it's not moving. It's a very difficult one. Obviously, it's it's got quite a lot of um, metal behind it. So putting on a little bit of solder, um, liquid solder, um, will actually aid getting heat through to it to remove it. Now I'm cleaning up the board with some isopropyl. I'm going to blow this down. Um, incidentally, this is a scrap um, board that I have. Um, so I'm just using it just to um, show you. There'll be other things on this board I'll be showing you as well, like uh, uh, the SIM, SIM card reader there, show you how to remove one of those. Uh, although there is um, the main bracket uh, missing off of this one. Um, anyway, maneuvering one of these data connection number threes into place, uh, quite difficult. Now, if you saw the first video, you'll notice that the it was a different colour. It had a white latch with a black body. The ones I've got in, I've got a black latch with a white body. Um, same thing. They'll fit on the 3G and the 3GS. Now, I'm using a little bit of liquid solder uh, just to tack down two of the pins uh, to hold it in place. Then what, what I'm going to do is apply some more liquid solder, which I've done there, over to the, the rest of the pins. Now there's, there's roughly uh, six pins each side, um, and you'll need extra heat on the, the, the one furthest away from, from, from us. So I'm just going to touch them back over again. I've just applied some liquid solder. Touch each one. If there's any bridge in there, it should remove. And there you have it. That's uh, a good connection. Okay, you might notice it's not entirely square on the board, but it doesn't matter. As long as we haven't got any bridging, it's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, smear some liquid solder across the remaining six on the other side. Okay. Now this stuff has got miniature solder balls in suspension in, in a solder flux. It's brilliant. Um, you'll, you'll see in a minute that you know you apply the solder iron around about 350 degrees and that solder will just flow to where it needs to flow. You know, So um, don't be tempted to use too much uh, solder on this. Let's get this into view for you. Okay, you don't need to put any pressure on gently go across as you can see if there's any bridging there you can soon remove it um, with a little bit more solar flux as you can see I've got some bridging there I'll remove that there we are I've removed it <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't show you that anyway if you need any info or, or anything like that uh, give us a call email me please subscribe to me thanks a lot cheers